All righty, there he goes. Man, there's a lot of oil in that crankcase. A lot of oil. And there's the kit I put on. And there's the piece of plug I took out. See, they never wanted you to um, change that. Just change that easy, quick uh, filter there. It was an easy change. Easy change. <laughs> easy change. You'll just leave your nasty oil in the crankcase, see it? So, uh, <laughs> I think for $55 for that filter, this this part I, is not the filter. This part stays on the engine, and it's screwed in by this. There's an O-ring there. And then on the other side, it's an O-ring like the oil filter would have. See, there's an O-ring there. And I will say this. When I went... To, this is the only thing holding that filter assembly on, or that housing where the filter screws onto. And I will say, this thing was loose. I didn't have to put no wrenching, hard wrenching on my, to take that off. No torque or nothing. I mean, it was very loose. So, with that weight swinging there, I think they may have a little bit more problem than they, uh, with these things hanging off like that. That heavy old weight there, vibrating. But that's just my take on it. Um, I don't. When it comes to oil filters, I like my stuff a little bit snug, you know. Uh, I don't like it loose. But man, that's a, that's your heart heart of the engine, you know, that oil, you know, the oil pump. And but look at there, man. I'll tell you, there's a lot of oil in that pan. And this is the easy cap that screws on right there. And I told you wrong. I said E180. It's a uh, E130, and you could look, and I mean, I guess there's other models. E, I don't know if the E120 has this or not. Uh, the E120 has a plastic gearbox and all that, and I don't like that. This is a better of the mower. It's a good mower, and the radius, steering radius, is awesome in this thing. It's almost like having a zero turn. I mean, I can get real close to the fence line and the rocks and stuff in the yard and it's, it's good mower I'll, I'll say that it's a briggs and stratton engine you know made for john deere and i they you know this is a murray basically it's a murray uh they murray makes them all but they build them for specs for what john deere wants and what you know other companies want um whether it's Troy Build or whoever, you know, it's the same mower, you know, they'll build them for what Troy Build wants them to build in their specs, whether they want to use different, you know, steel for the straight axle or whatever, or an easy, quick <laughs> oil change. <clears throat> but that's it, man. And then, uh, I don't know, I, I guess you guys are not stupid. You figure it out from here. And like I said, the John Deere dealer in my town, Marion County, Florida, they were good. They're good folks. And uh, they knew all about the filter numbers of guys there in the parts store. Uh, are really, really knowledgeable. They they'll know what they they know what they help you out with. They're good people. And I don't know. I'll throw that and uh, put that in my toolbox and use it for something one day. Put it, you know. You never know. Come in handy. I don't throw things away. I'm gonna dissect that, and I may make a video on that too. I'm gonna cut that filter over and open i mean and uh see how much filtration it really has i mean i like the idea like there again i like the idea of having to build big filter i've always been a big fan of big oil filters um you know more filtration i mean that's that that i can't fault john deere for doing i i like the idea that's why i bought it i said man that's cool you know and and then when i got home i said they don't have a drain plug now i guess i could have just i could have kept easy change and put this on, you know, and then every time I change it, it would have been 55 plus a, God, what is that, a quart of oil or better? That might be two quarts of oil in there. So, I, I you know, so I'd have to, it would be $65, $70 by the time I did, the, you know, not counting the, well, I used, you know, I used, uh, went to Walmart and uh, got there. I used Brake Clean, and it just, it works good, degreasing the area. It's a little inexpensive. Guess I could use oven cleaner too. It's good, you know. Sometimes oven cleaner is expensive. I could go to a dollar store somewhere like that, get it cheaper. But you know, I don't know. It, it worked out. Nah, I will try this. And like I said, I'll 
with that little filter, I mean, my lord, it was $28, something like that, with all these parts. So the, the oil filter from John Deere was inexpensive, I think. I mean, you, you, you go to the John Deere dealer, you pay the same price as you would after marketing. I, I went online, and believe it or not, the John Deere dealer, um, their parts, their prices on the filter were just as comparable as everybody else's, um, even one of the biggest uh, online uh, 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 stores, uh, John Deere was right there. So sometimes it pays to call your dealers and uh, before you go jumping after aftermarket stuff too, because their prices on oil filters may, you know, may surprise you. I know I buy oil filters at Nissan dealer, cheaper than I can get them, or, or just as much as you can get them at a, you know, local aftermarket parts store. So what the heck, I mean, I'm going to use make them happy, you know, put the, put the right stuff, the cars under warranty, why not, you know, but eh, I don't know, we just shop, shop around, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about aftermarket, I've, I've always been an aftermarket mechanic, um, but, you know, I shop around and uh, try to save a buck here and there, and, uh, and also build rat rides, <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and I always use quality parts, so what the heck. And uh, anyway, I'll, I'm gonna get back with you guys about this cut and this filter rope. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Bye.